Doing well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Andy, how are you? Good morning, Josh. Oh, yes. Just a little history of this great event. It started 11 years ago. I had six uncles in World War II, and all six of them did come home. Unfortunately, none of them had a chance to speak to my students. So my wife encouraged me, if I'm a history teacher, I might as well get as much history as I can into the classroom. Long story short, her grandfather was in the Philippines and he passed away three months before he could come. So I set out on a journey with Mr. Sanchez to get as many vets as we could. We've knocked on many mobile home doors. We've been to many retirement homes. I've ate a lot of tapioca pudding and uh, it's turned into this. Our first year, 33 vets, 90 students. Um, now we expect today 300 vets, 900 students. But this is just rewarding because kids get to hear things that are not in the textbooks, like how the food was, or were you scared, or who did you miss, or what was it like? And people just tell stories, some of them for the first time. My favorite story from this event is there was a man who didn't want to come, he was a Vietnam veteran. He said, Mr. Bishop, no thanks, I'll just come and watch. Well. He ended up coming, he saw what it was, he saw that it's an intimate environment with just three students. And he said, Mr. Bishop, thank you. I said, no, no, my pleasure. He said, no, thank you. I've waited 44 years for a welcome home and your kids finally gave it to me. So that, ah, that's why we do it. I had a friend of mine that I met in the Army and his daughter is part of the fire department here in Rancho. And they tried to get me here, and I didn't want to come the first year because I don't live my life. I tried to forget it. Aaron Bishop took me to lunch and explained this to me. And I came the second year, and I was really amazed. These young people are so polite, so respectful, and they're interested. And I'm more than happy to open up to them and let them know what I experienced so that they can learn the history that is no longer in the books. For the students, it's great. For the veterans, it's more powerful. The, the response I get from the vets who have never shared, they, that's why I got them, is they come up to me and they, they can't thank me enough. And I'm not personally your Sanchez and Ms. Guerrero, but they need a, a platform like this to speak they're not judged kids want to listen and these guys need to share and that's why they keep coming back and that's why it keeps going every year